Until Ethan turned two, his curriculum was pretty straightforward. We used toys and activities that Ethan found rewarding to encourage vocalizations and requests. Some of our most successful activities have been movement activities. Here is an example. For this activity, we used a blanket with a reinforced edge. Lauren, Ethan's occupational therapist, introduces the activity with Kristen as free play with no demands placed upon him. Then they stop the activity and give Ethan the opportunity to request. Back and forth he's swinging and stop. Ethan, what do you want? Maintaining Ethan's attention is one of our most difficult challenges. Cheese. 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 Very good. How about swing me? What do you want, Ethan? Swing. Swinging, 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 and stop. Ethan, what do you want? Swing me! Wee! Back and forth. Now, can we roll, Ethan? Ready? Go up on one side. Woo! Woo! Rolling, Ethan! <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Ethan, what do you want? Roll me! Roll me! Ethan obviously enjoys this activity, but when he's had enough, he gets to choose to stop. Ethan, what do you want? All, All done. done. Good job. All done. If we choose to ignore Ethan's request, he loses trust in us and becomes an unwilling learner. Additionally, ignoring Ethan's requests discourages future requesting and promotes requesting by another methodology, the tantrum.